welcome back to the channel today is vlogmas day seven i'm really excited this is the first official week and i finished vlogmas strong posting every day so i want to keep that momentum going and i know you guys may be like why are you changing backgrounds every couple of videos y'all i have so many new places that i can sit in to shoot a video so i'm trying to see which background i like so when i set up my studio i'll know exactly where to put the equipment stuff like that because i do have a space that i plan to make my office but i haven't bought anything to go in there yet or go in that area yet so i don't even film over there because it's just barren but today i'm in Simon's office he actually has our uh <laughs> he has our living room chair in here so i was like oh this would be a cute something to film in but um so today i want to come at you guys with a story time for vlogmas day seven and it's gonna be about nothing christmas related at all but i just want to do more story times because i know they do well on my channel but this one is about the time that i was talking to two guys in high school who actually knew each other. So I was in high school, they were in college. I met them through two separate friends, but they actually knew each other because they went to the same college. So if you want to hear the story about me being a dumb high school girl, then just keep on watching. <laughs> Like I said, this happened when I was in high school. I was actually in ninth grade. So this is the year before I moved away and went to Texas for a, a year um, to do high school. And I met these two guys. And at the time I didn't know they knew each other, but let me tell you exactly how I met them. So one of the guys, I seen him on Instagram and Instagram at the time was like, you know, you be posting pictures, but they ain't like the best quality or anything like that. But I seen him on Instagram and he looked really cool. So I was like, okay sliding in the dms so i slid into the dms and like me and him exchanged numbers and from there we just texting i'ma call him a so from there we just texting we just getting to know each other and i think he's super cool but at this time like i had just broken up with the guy i was dating i wasn't you know interested in trying to be with nobody at this point but i was ready to mingle you know i still wanted to get out there but i wasn't ready to date anybody so me and a just talking just chilling met him off of instagram now, B, on the other hand, which is the other guy I was talking to, I met him through a mutual friend. So me and her were sitting in Spanish class one day and I was telling her, I was like, you know, I really wish I had somebody to talk to, you know, somebody older because I've always been into older guys. And she was like, oh, I got this friend, this mutual friend who you may be into. So she started telling me about the guy. She's showing me pictures. And then the one thing that sold me is his birthday and my birthday are the exact same day. So his birthday is September 2nd too. So we're both Virgos and I'm like, I could date another Virgo. In ninth grade, I'm just thinking, oh my God, it's fate. <laughs> He's a Virgo, I'm a Virgo. His birthday is September 2nd, my birthday is September Like, we had to be together, right? So I was like, of course, give me his number, girl. I'm ready to talk to him now. So she hooked the whole situation up. We started texting, getting to know each other. But at the same time, I'm still talking to A. And me and A, we were starting to really like each other. And I couldn't drive to see him. That was the biggest issue. Like, we couldn't see each other in person because he was all the way in Rankin County and I lived in Yazoo County. So if you look up Mississippi, you'll see that those two counties were like an hour away. And he was in community college and I just could not get to see him because I wasn't driving at that point. But luckily, my guy sister, I told her about the guy. I'm like, yeah, he goes to school here. I would love to go see him. And she happened to be talking to somebody who went to school there too. So she was like, oh girl, that ain't nothing. I'll get my dad's car. I'll drive us there if you really want to see him. So I'm like, okay, give me some time to think about it. Cause I gotta see first if there's a real connection between me and A to the point where I'ma actually go see you. So me and him, we keep talking for a week, few weeks and I'm still talking to B, you know, that guy. And I'm still trying to figure out who I like. But then I told my guy, so I was like, yeah, take me to go see A because me and him being kind of cool. And I wanna see what he look like in person. Cause you know, people be lying in pictures. I wanna see what he really looked like. So we go up there, we take the time, we drive. At the time, my grandma was real strict on me. So I'm telling her, yeah, I'm just going to hang out with my god sister. We're going to the movies, we're going to the mall, things like that. 
but no way I'm telling her I'm going to go see some boy that I probably shouldn't have been seeing. But anyway, so she drives us there, we see him. He come with a group of his friends. One of the one of them is one of the guys she's talking to, I believe. And um, me and him, we just chill, we just hang out. We stayed there for a long time and we were just talking and vibing. And it was like, okay, I like you. So when I got back home, we were still texting and talking about that night. So I'm like, you know, things are getting pretty serious with me at A. But all the while, I'm still, you know, texting B too. I wouldn't say I texted him as much as I texted A, but I was still talking to him too. So one day, me and B were on the phone, and I was scrolling through Instagram, and I'm like, I see him and A talking about, oh yeah, bro, that's cool. Um, you know, oh you my brother, like you know, congrats and stuff. Like he was just commenting on B's pictures, and like some of the pictures they were in together. And I don't know why my little brain didn't piece together that they go to the same school, it's a community college, guarantee you they can find the same friends, you know, like they know each other, Valencia, they know each other. My brain did not piece that together. So while we're on the phone, I just bring it up. I'm like, oh, I see A in your pictures. Like, how do you know him? Oh, y'all running the same, y'all play basketball together. You know, just trying to figure out how you know him. And so he was like, yeah, that's my brother. We cool, you know, I met him here in college. And I'm like, so I know y'all probably talking about me then because I'm talking to you and I'm talking to him and I actually took the drive to come see him but I'm still talking to you. <laughs> y'all, I felt so, like I wanted to crawl into a shell when I figured out that they knew each other and that I had been talking to both of them at the same time. So I can't even say, oh, I started talking to you after him or nothing like that, like they know each other so they know the timeline of when I started talking to them. This is so crazy. But in the following months or so, me and A started getting really close and like we were like, okay, let's just see where things go. I was still texting B, but for some reason we really fell off. And I don't think he was feeling me anymore. I think he had started seeing more girls at school that he had easier access to. Um, so he started talking to them more. So me and him slowly just stopped texting little by little. But me and A kept going. Even to the point that me and A were still talking when I was in 10th grade and I had moved away, we were still talking on the phone every day, still texting every day. Mind you, I'm in a whole different state, like six hours away, meeting all new people, but I'm still texting him. Then when I moved back in my 11th grade year, back to Mississippi, we were still talking, but things like, cause I was dating another guy at the time. <laughs> okay, I know what, uh, I know what impression y'all getting to me, but that's not who I was. I was a young high school hottie. <laughs> I was a young high school hottie playing the field. Do you understand? So of course I was talking to multiple people and at the time I wasn't seriously in a relationship with either one of them. Cause the guy that I moved back for my 11th grade year was actually at like a behavioral boot camp. So me and him were just writing letters my 10th grade year. We weren't really dating. We were talking about how we used to date the year prior but it was nothing serious. And then me and A, like, we just still hitting it off, you know, still liking each other, still enjoying each other's company, but we're not, like, seriously in a relationship. So if one of us started dating somebody, the other person wouldn't have been mad, you know, with the type of relationship we had. But yes, y'all, that is how I got caught up talking to two guys who went to the same college. And they never told me that they knew about me talking to either one of them at the same time. Like, they never said anything to me. But I know to this day they're still cool, so I'm sure if one of them were to say my name, the other person would know who I am. But like I said, I don't talk to either one of them now because of you know who. But um, yeah, so that's about the time I was in high school and I got caught up talking to two guys who knew each other. <laughs> Guys, I lived a crazy life, so if you ever want to hear more stories about high school, college, now, just be sure to leave comments and I'll be sure to do them. Um, but as always, babes, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.